Hey guys, my name is Landon Osborne. I'm a firefighter with the Carthage Fire Department. I've been a member of the Carthage Fire Department for approximately three and a half years. Today we're going to be discussing extrication equipment and more specifically the Genesis extrication tools. We got a few different types of tools we're going to go over today. Uh, we're going to go over cutters, spreaders, our ram tool and attachments for the ram, our power unit, glass saw and sawzall. We're going to go over just basic operating procedures for these and uh, just basically how they hook up and how they operate and uh, just different types of uses and things like that. Our first tool is going to be our Genesis cutters. Um, these are hydraulic power cutters. Uh, basic operation, uh, there's just a, a simple button here. If you push it down, they're going to compress and cut. And if you press the uh, round side on the back, back side of the cutter, cutters are going to open up. Um, right here on top, there's just going to be a little guard for your hand. And then right here is just going to be the handle to where you grab on the front. Um, you can adjust that with this little, little knob on the side here. Um, these are uh, quick connect. We do have the quick connect um, hoses for our uh, power unit. And all of our tools have the quick connect attachments. So it just makes it, it's very simple. You just grab the other end of the hose and you just twist it right on. So it's very quick and easy uh, as compared to some of the older models. So, and the different types of uses for this, um, mainly what you're gonna use for, do with your cutters is you're cutting your, you know, your A, A, B, and C post, um, and then roll your roof or just whatever you need to do as far as that goes. And then you can also make relief cuts and uh, take doors off, just, just different things like that. Um, very useful tool. Uh, we use them a lot here at Carthage, and uh, it's, these are going to be our main tools on our first out engine. Um, we have a uh, setup in the back of our engine with hose, re hose reels and a tray that slides out where these uh, where these tools um, will sit in, kind of like cradles, if you will. Um, so yeah, that's going to be our Genesis cutters. Um, very useful tool. And uh, we'll move on to our next tool, uh, which is going to be our Genesis spreaders. Uh, same thing, we have the same uh, quick quick connect on the back side here. And uh, these are also hydraulic powered. All these tools are going to be hydraulic powered. And uh, for the spreaders, um, it's going to be the same same operation. We're going to have a button here on the top. It's going to be a round button. If you're going to, if you press that, it'll compress the spreaders. If you uh, press the button on the back side, then uh, then it'll open them up. So for these, it's going to be the same same type of handles. We're going to have a hand guard on the back side, and they're going to have a handle on top and on the side here. They don't have an adjustment. They're just they just kind of move freely, so that makes it a little bit nicer. But but yeah, for these, um, we do have a couple different attachments that we can put put on the end there. They've got uh, just some simple pins that you can pop out, and then you can take these tips off and then change the tips out. So that's very very uh very useful tool for us and again all these tools are on our first out engine so these are getting getting used a lot so we've we're very experienced with uh with these tools so they're they work very well for us and uh they're very nice uh next we're going to go to our genesis ram tool it's going to be this tool right here so for this um it's going to be just the simple same button operation here on the back and uh, also got our quick connect on there, just like the other tools. And uh, this is going to be the end of, your, end of your ram tool. And then obviously this is where we're going to put it in the door jam down here. So on this end, we have uh, the tip here. And uh, we can take this tip off and we've got several different attachments that we can put on here. We can put an extension on. We can put a different head on this tool. Um, you can see in the box there, um, that's all the different, we have that, that, that exact same box in our truck. but. It's got all the different attachments you can put on any of these tools. So it's kind of kind of nice having all in one place right there, simple and organized. So that's going to be, uh, be it for the RAM tool. Uh, also operation on that, um, you can use it for several different things, uh, such as the dash roll. Like we talked about, you can use your cutters to make a relief cut and then use your RAM tool to roll the dash off the patient if they are entrapped. So that's just one of the, one of the few, few uh, uses for the RAM tool. But, uh, and then we're going to move on to our Genesis power unit. And that's this is going to be the unit that powers all of these tools. Um, and it is going to be a hydraulic unit, like I said before. Um, simple operation. I mean, it's super easy to use. Uh, we're going to have a power switch on the front here. You'll just flip that on. And then over here on the side, I'll move it so you can see it. Um, we have our uh, 
our fuel switch, and then we're gonna go ahead and then move the choke over. And once you've done that, you'll just go ahead and pull the uh, pull the cord here, and then that should get it started. There's a little silver uh, silver switch here that's gonna control your throttle on the power unit. And then over on the back side over here is gonna be your connections. Like I said, these are this is a quick connect unit. So this is gonna be the end of our quick connect. Our hoses will go right in here for each, each tool. And we can run both tools at the same time if we need to, <clears throat> or if we wanna concentrate all of our power from the power unit onto one tool, we'll just have to flip these switches over. And then the, all the, the power will be concentrated on that tool. But if you want, want to run two tools at the same time, all you have to do is simply just move that over to the other side, and, uh, and then you can run both tools uh, at the same time. So for storage, we'll just move those back, back to the neutral position there. And we're gonna move on to our glass saw. So this is something we don't use a whole lot, but if we do need to cut uh, the windshield out or a window or anything like that, this is gonna be the tool we're gonna use. Um, it's just simply, uh, just a simple tool. There's, got, there's a little release right here, just on screws to move the saw out of its uh, resting position. Let me move it back but then you can just tighten it down there. But there's a few different uses for this. You can make your hole with this end here uh, in your glass, and then you can go ahead and use the other end to cut the glass out of the way. Also in this, there's gonna be a glass punch. So you can make your, uh, make your uh, hole with this also, or you can just punch out the window because it's gonna be the laminated glass. You can just use that to, uh, to remove the glass on the side. But uh, that, is, that is a useful tool. Um, also, instead, oh, actually PPE, sorry. Um, it's very important to use your PPE on all of this equipment, but it's very important whenever you're, you're removing glass from a, uh, from a vehicle, so you're gonna need, need a face shield and proper uh, face and uh, hand covering. So, I mean, with us, if we're gonna be using this equipment, we're gonna have full PPE, we're gonna have our turnaround gear on, we're gonna have our helmet, which has a face shield on it, we can pull down and we'll, we'll have our extrication gloves on. So that's, that's very important to use PPE, but especially like I said, on, if you're cutting glass out of the way, there's gonna be glass shards going everywhere and that's gonna protect you. And another point, um, if you are removing the glass out of a vehicle, you wanna make sure and cover the patient just because this, this is gonna make a lot, of, uh, a lot of debris, so you're not gonna wanna cause any more harm than you have to with the patient when you're removing them. So, and another tool we can use instead of the glass saw, which we use quite frequently, is our DeWalt Sawzall. This is gonna be a battery powered unit. And uh, we've got it here. And this has tons of different uses on a uh, extrication scene, but mainly what we use it for is just in place of the glass saw, we'll go ahead and throw a blade in there and then we'll just cut the glass out of the way. It works way faster and uh, way easier than than what a glass saw would, but we do have the glass saw in case we don't have access to our, uh, our saws out here. Um, another, another point for that is you definitely want to use PPE when you're operating this, removing glass or whatever, whatever you may be uh, using it on scene for because there, there, there is going to be some debris, especially with glass. Um, also, we can use this for uh, cutting away sheet metal so we can expose um, different parts of the car that we need to gain access to. and. Uh, and then that's that's pretty much it for that. Um, and I believe that's going to wrap us up as far as uh, all of our Genesis power tools and uh, our saws on glass saw. So, and that's the end of the presentation. Thank you guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.